Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Last year, about a year and a half ago, I was gifted with a mudra and a meditation to do in case your brain has been damaged by electroshock therapy. Apparently the place where there was a gathering where I was, there was someone like that. And so this, um, this meditation came through. You can use it to heal someone else or you can he use it to heal yourself. In this case, it was the former. Um, so what it is, is you're lying down on the ground on your back, hands at your side, palms up. This is known as corpse pose. And uh, you're feeling, you're feeling, you're t tensing the little finger and the thumb of each hand. Just the little finger and the thumb, tensed. And, and fingers are kind of wide like this. So you get the feeling like maybe you were touching a head, you know, on the sides at the temples and the top of the head. Only your hands are at your side. So you can imagine that this is holding your head. And only thing is, there's a current going between your thumb and your little finger, okay? They're tense and there's a current of life force or, or ki or chi going between those two fingers. And in both hands you do that. You concentrate on the energy flowing between the tip of the little finger and the tip of the thumb. And imagine that that energy that's equalizing across the hand, across the palm of the hand, is the energy of the head. Okay? And so, you, you continue with this with long, deep breathing. Continue with the visualization and the feeling of the energy for a half an hour. And that's the meditation. It's to stabilize the energy of the mind field of the, uh, uh, upper, um, the upper mental body after, after electroshock therapy or maybe you've been like hit by lightning, something like that. Something that sends a current through your head that needs to be rectified, all right? Okay, I'm gonna show you how the hands are on the, you're lying down flat and the hands are at your sides and it looks like this. doing long deep breathing.